Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet. and Today I'm going to share with you my top favorite yarns. Now some disclaimers before I go through these. First of all, they're in no particular order so we're not starting with the worst and building up to the best. I don't see my yarn friends, my yarn fibers in that way because I really see it more project centric. So in other words, if you ask me what's my favorite yarn, I can't answer that question because it really depends on what kind of project are we talking about. And I think those of you who've been crafting for a while understand what I'm getting at here. So what I decided on is I decided to limit this to only 10, which was really, really hard for me to do. But I'm gonna go through step by step 10 different yarns that I have worked with that I find to be my favorite. And where I can, I'm gonna stick an image here and there of a project using this particular yarn. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And oh, one other disclaimer, um, I don't work for any yarn company in particular. I don't work for anybody, any company that's telling me to say such and such about a particular product. This is totally my opinion and it comes from many years of working with many different types of fibers. Also, I know there are probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of other types of yarns out there on the market, which I just haven't had the privilege of working with. So if I don't get to your favorite yarn, I just wanna say, I'm sorry that there's a reason for that. Um, I've got only one life to live and I'm living it. And uh, I may not get to all the yarns that are out there. I'm pretty sure I won't. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Number one on the list is Paint Box Simply Erin. I have used this yarn a lot of times for things such as afghans, primarily for afghans and throws that are in family rooms, you know, things that are gonna need to be washed and dried. And because of that, I really like this particular yarn. It's a high quality, 100% acrylic yarn. Again, it's called Simply Erin, so it's an Erin or a worsted weight yarn. Yes, I have used some of the other more popular products and there are some, the other ones can be very nice as well. One thing I've enjoyed a lot about the paint box Simply Erin is the number of knots in it, that's in K-N-O-T-S, is very few. I have gone through hundreds of balls of yarn like this of this particular brand and I could probably count on one hand how many times I've run into a knot in the balls of yarn. That's a blessing to this crocheter. All right, let's go on to number two. So number two on my list is Ella Ray's Phoenix Cotton. This comes in different weights, or it used to. I think it may be discontinued, um, but it is 100% mercerized Egyptian cotton. It is beautiful, and I'll show you a bag that I made with this. I've, I've worked with this several times. It has a beautiful sheen to it, as you can see there and it is 100% cotton, and it has all the benefits of a breathable, wonderful yarn. And again, comes in uh, several different weights besides worsted. Another favorite cotton yarn would be the I Love This Cotton. This is a brand that is readily available at your local Hobby Lobby stores. It is very, very nice and soft. It's a lot softer to touch than let's say the dishcloth yarn that you would use for you know scrubbing items, you know uh, dishcloths, hot pads, and so forth. It's very soft and very uh, very much a choice for wearable items, especially things up against the skin. Very nice, and it's also very uh, good price point as well. Number four on the list is not so much brand specific as it is fiber content specific. And that is Mohair Silk Blend. Usually you can find uh, among many different brands, the 75% Mohair blended with 25% silk. It's a lovely fabric. It's like crocheting with cotton candy. It is not a very forgiving uh, yarn when it comes to having to rip things out. So I always tell crocheters, if you're gonna use the Mohair Silk Blends, Make sure you understand the pattern and try not to make any stitching mistakes because they are a little more difficult to pull back out. But there's nothing more gorgeous than making a mohair silk blend scarf or shawl 
with an oversized crochet hook. You can get some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful results from this type of yarn. Number five on my list is more fiber and size related than it is brand related because this particular blend is available quite a bit out there in the marketplace. I'm going to show you the yarn, what's left of what I have, and this is a fingering weight blend of a combination of superwash merino, yak, and silk. And, and the, the quantities of each can vary slightly, but it makes for a beautiful yarn, a lovely sheen, very um, natural as far as being breathable. And using a lot of the stitches that I like to use, I can make some beautiful designs with the thin fingering weight yarn. It allows me to do a lot of cables and various designs in such a way that they are very much wearable. And I just love the way this particular fabric wears. It, it is long lasting and very nice and warm, but yet breathable. Another of my favorite yarns is the Pure Alpaca by Cascade Yarns. And I'm just show you a little bit of the yarn here. It is a 100% baby alpaca, very, very soft, and is probably my favorite go-to yarn when it comes to making wonderful warm ponchos for the winter time. I'll go ahead and put a photo of one of my favorites right here for you. Very beautiful yarn um, and can't get enough of the alpaca. Another one of my favorite cottons, especially when it comes to making summer garments, has to be the Bamboo Pop Sock by Universal Yarn. And they also have this in the Pop Sock with solids. So they have a lot of complementary colors and various designs. What I love about this yarn is it has a lot of elasticity in it because the makeup of this is... Um, 55% bamboo, 37% cotton, and 8% PBT, which is an elastic kind of a fiber. And what ends up happening when you crochet or knit a garment out of this particular material is it holds its shape and it will snap into place um, even when washed. So it's just a wonderful fabric. Again, makes for a nice elasticity on the garment so that it keeps them fitting for for years and they do have quite a number of different colors available solids again as well as uh different um you know different changing color ones and they have some new ones now on the market and i can't wait to get my hands on these number eight on my list would be wonder fluff this is a knit picks yarn it is a number five weight and the Fiber content of this is 70% baby alpaca, 23% nylon, which is actually the nylon tube that the fibers are blown into when they create this yarn, and 7% merino wool. What you end up with is a wonderfully fluffy yarn, just like the name says. And I was able to make my very first knit sweater using this yarn, and I absolutely love wearing it. Um, because of the nature of the fluffiness, you are going to have some pilling. You just have to be prepared to care for it when the time comes because of that. But if you don't mind doing that, it makes for a lovely, warm, just gorgeous sweater. And I was able to knit this sweater with color with a color work yoke and just in totally in love with it. Number nine is Barocco Vintage. And I just love, love, love the vintage yarn from Barocco. One thing about this is it comes in multiple sizes. You can buy this in DK weight. You can buy this in worsted weight. You can get it in bulky weight. And I believe they even have fingering and sport weight as well. It comes with a very wide palette of colors to choose from. Um, it's a staple that's been around forever. So it's probably not going to be disappearing anytime soon, like a lot of yarns that come onto the market. And then as soon as you make something with it, or even before you finish the project, the yarn is, is no longer available. This has been around a long time, and I hope, hope, hope it will be around for a lot longer. Let me tell you something about the uh, makeup of this yarn. is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, 8% nylon. So it's roughly a 50-50 on the uh, acrylic uh, wool. 
which is a very good blend. You still have the breathability, but you also have uh, the ability to wash this. It's easier to care for. And one thing that you'll probably like the best about it is the price point is much lower than just buying 100% uh, you know, of a natural fiber. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds in my opinion. And I have used this many times, including the sweater you see behind me. Uh, it, it's just an excellent yarn, good stitch definition. Again, again, made my top 10 list. Just got one more to show you. So number 10 on my list, again, this wasn't in order of preference. It was just at random. Um, number 10 is Eco Fusion um, Nurturing Fibers Bamboo Yarn. There are a couple of different versions, one which is all bamboo and another one which is cotton bamboo. It's a blend. I have used them both, and you can see the one has a beautiful sheen to it. Um, well, this doesn't have as much of a sheen to it, but it, both of them have a wonderful feel to it. I am told that these are produced in very um, ecologically friendly manners in South Africa, and they are just really great for scarves, for shawls, uh, whatever you want to do. I, I've enjoyed working with them very much. I've even made a blanket out of this one, and I'll put that picture right here so that you can look at that. Made an heirloom style blanket with this. So, well, there you have it. That is my top 10 list of my current favorite yarns. Of course, this is subject to change at a moment's notice. <laughs> you know how that can work. Did I miss something? Did I miss your favorite yarn? If I did, I'm so sorry, but don't go away until you introduce me to your favorite type of yarn. I would love to learn. I would love to meet them. And they may end up substituting in for one of my top 10 favorites, maybe next year. God bless. Bye-bye.